So as promised, this is going to be a slightly longer video than my normal little quickies. So Saturday, my husband takes me to go see The Cure. And for those of you who aren't familiar with The Cure, it's a one of the post-punk, early goth bands of the late 80s. And the lead singer, a gentleman by the name of Robert Smith, is at 64. And one of the things that I've noticed as we continue to check off our list of bands that we really want to see before they're no longer available to be seen is that a lot of times with these bands, all of the original members, with the exception of maybe one or two, is no longer able to perform for whatever reason. And so a lot of times these old rockers have youngins fill in the spots of the empty bits. And the the concert Saturday night was 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 no exception. And I was laughing because they had this little bassist guy. And he is a young puppy, he's in his twenties or whatever, you know. And this this little puppy was trying really, really hard not to rock, but you could tell he was a rocker. And and he'd get up there and he'd have his guitar and he'd start, you know, doing his little showmanship thing and and, and then, you know, and then Robert Smith is just barely moving and 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 then he'd realize, oh, oh yeah, I'm I'm not the lead singer, and he'd back off, you know, and and he'd be a little bit more subdued with along with the mood of the concert. But you know, honestly, they played all their good songs. The dude's voice is still freaking rock on, and it was really, really, really a great concert. But so you know, I'm gonna tell you. Sometimes you'll go see these old rockers like Chicago. I think there's maybe one or two members. And they have had so many incarnations that I don't even know who's original anymore, but they have been playing together for so long. They are so freaking tight. They still sing amazing. The show is the bomb. So if you can see Chicago, see Chicago. And so one of the things that I've also noticed about old rockers is, is, is what, what does mature people call the check engine light? Because, you know, periodically in your life, you will get a check engine light. You know, you go to the doctor, well, your blood pressure's a little high, your A1C looks a little scary, or whatever. That's a check engine light, okay? Which means change your behaviors because you don't want the check engine light to turn into, you know, an engine overhaul, okay? So, like, if your cholesterol's a little high, up your veggies, up your fruit, look at your life, look at your choices, and see how you're doing. So, you know, case in point, Elton John, we almost lost him several times in the 80s, but he caught on that he had a check engine light, you know, so he changed his ways and he's been living a much more content life. And so he was able to do his recent tour in his 70s and still can jam on the piano and still can sing. And and I'll tell you, the crowd last, you know, the crowd with the cure, whenever he hit a high note, was just losing it. And the the crowd was interesting because it was a whole bunch of old, old goths and a whole bunch of puppy goths. And I'm just like looking around kind of going, you know, this is really a really nice balanced crowd. But I'll tell you, the most interesting old rocker concert I ever went to was this guy named Mickey Thomas, who was originally in Starship. Okay, so, you know, Jefferson Starship, Jefferson Airplane, whatever incarnation. Um, Grace Slick says, I'm not singing anymore. My voice isn't there. And, you know, nobody needs to see this old hag singing. And God bless her for, for understanding that. But Mickey's voice is still dead on. And he's performing at the Poteet Strawberry Festival. And so for you, you know, this is the equivalent of, you know, doing the local fair or, you know, your local band concert bar place you know it, it it was not the packed stadiums of of his youth and but i'll tell you that man was so insanely gracious and he played that venue like it was the best venue he's ever played and he played a couple of songs, he sang Strawberry Fields Forever because he was at the Poteet Strawberry Festival. God bless him for pivoting. And and then he also sang Rocky Raccoon. And for those of you who don't know that deep dive, it's a Beatles song, an old one, a very old one. But that was such a fun concert. It was so fun seeing this, you know, and, and I've seen some, some other ones like, you know, Todd Rundgren and I've seen Aerosmith and, uh, you know, when I tell the puppies some of the bands that I saw, you know, it's like, yeah, I saw Van Halen, you know, with both. 
and you know I've seen Pink Floyd and you know and I've seen Elton John several times you know and and the, and the youngins are all please tell us more you know and 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 it's great it's great you know but I'll tell you you know when I saw ZZ Top it was really really clear to me that you know there's always like one band member that's trying to keep the other guys hanging on with the exception of the Red Hot Chili Peppers those guys have been playing together they have been playing together so long that they can read each other's thoughts and and it's a it's a marvel to watch it's just absolutely totally totally great but you know if you get an opportunity and it doesn't really matter what the venue is get your butts over there and watch them you know have a good time you know get in there and if the 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 seats are decent you know or if you can get them pretty cheap you know so like the next concert that's coming up boy george culture club singing with berlin and one other group that i can't quite remember i love the 80s you know i i might tease my hair for that one you know but anyways you know if, just have fun if if rock and roll is something that you want to see then get out there and see them and even if you don't know the the band members or the opening acts or whatever cutest little opening act i can't even remember what their name was but they were from scotland i couldn't even understand a single word they said because their brogue was so thick but the very first things out of their mouth is Hot weather ain't good for Scots or Goths. And that was so true because the Goths, you know, with their alabaster powder were totally melting in the the Texas heat. But, you know, it, it was fun. It totally was fun. And then there was like these mature Goth ladies. God, they were gorgeous. And I was sitting there and I was like, I want to steal your aesthetic because your aesthetic is quite fine. You know, and then there was these young girls that were wearing bustiers and strappy things. And I'm just like, oh, it's such cute little baby goths. You're just so adorbs. I remember those days. But anyway, so, you know, it, if you get a chance, and even if you don't know the group, and you get a chance, and somebody says to you, hey, let's go to a live music concert, then go. And if you get a chance to talk to the band, talk to the band and be appreciative and be grateful because they're getting a little bit of their soul just like with an artist any artist they're giving you a little bit of their soul with everything that they do and you should appreciate that because that is a very very great gift so there's my take on old rockers did have a very good time and uh, sat on the the lawn and discovered i can get up and down off the ground so <laughs> which is also a very big deal when you're up in your 60s but anyway so that's it for now and i just wanted to share that with y'all and don't forget i love you ta-ta for now